Hello everyone, Mark here, Mark's Max Muscle, and this is a fan-requested comparison between Brian Buchanan and Keon Pearson. Buchanan, of course, 1980s competitor, competing in a couple of Olympias back then, got 7th and 8th, respectively. Keon, current competitor, wow, take a look at the genetics of these guys, look at that, guys, you cannot go to the gym and train to look like either one of these guys. Obviously, everybody in the IFBB would have that midsection in this front double like he on. Uh, Brian Buchanan, Brian B, he looks like a B because of those little tiny midsections Bs have. <laughs> I don't know how it hangs on, that massive upper, bo upper body. In both cases, they get great arms, but Brian is on another level altogether. Not only did he have a tiny midsection, but he had some of the biggest arms of back in the 80s. But in the wheel department... Maybe not quite as, uh, oh, here's a different shot. Not quite as advanced as Keon Pearson. Of course, that is your evolution of bodybuilding. Your wheel size is going to get bigger. Hard to see this one. And this is another one for uh, Brian Buchanan live on stage. First one, photo shoot, things of that nature. But the angle of this one, the footage, not the best for these guys from the 80s. You can see even from the calves, these guys are very similar, very similar. Here's the front lat spread, and I would wager to say Brian's wheels look huge here. Look at that. Look at that. Similar angles for this front lat spread, so that's why I went with the, the photo shoot. Look at the midsection of Brian. Brian, he is hands down defeating a current competitor like Keon Pearson in this front lat spread. This guy is awesome. Very underrated was Brian B. Now there is this shot of Brian... Probably even more flattering as far as the, the, how filled out his lats are. But it is a different angle. It's probably more fair to use the other one. Even though Brian, he's, he's probably beating Keon. Both cases. Turn to the side here. Side chest development. And yes, yes, you can see the evolution of those wheels. From the side, I don't know. Well, I might even say Keon has a better midsection. It's more diced. It's more... Built. But I don't think that either one of these two guys would, you know, be what you would call build condition-wise. But not bad, nonetheless. You might go with Brian because of the structure. Probably, probably. Now, when you go to the back development, many of you will be surprised how good Brian was. Keon leans back, creates for an awesome V-taper. Look at that. Looks like a big Viagra pill. A big giant V. Big giant V. This is a photo shoot at best for Brian. And you can see, guys, he wasn't flexing his glutes. But if he was, he'd have them. Because look at his hamstrings. Hamstrings, more separated, seemingly more conditioned than Keon Pearson. So, take it for what it is, guys. It's a photo shoot. A rear double, photo shoot. Evolution, nothing. Brian Buchanan, he is beating Keon in the back development. I would wager to say. Condition-wise, like I said, they're not going to be flexing their glutes. Wasn't a thing back then. They didn't even know what glutes were. Well, they did, but you guys know what I'm saying. Anyway, anyway, it's an obvious difference. If you cover cover the upper bodies up, just look at the lower halves. It's like, well, yeah, yeah. Actually, Brian might even be winning in the calf department. Not a bad showing for Brian Buchanan's calves here. Highly inserted nothing. Train them anyway. Train them anyway. Abs and thigh. I just don't think that Keon Pearson can see to swing a punch. You guys wanted to see this one because of that credible front double bicep pose of each guy's midsection, rib cage, torso heaps. Very similar. But as far as that's concerned, that's as far as the uh, similarities go between these guys. Because every other pose, I'd wager to say Brian has an advantage. Look at that midsection. Look at that. Abs included. So that's about it, guys. And if I'll be darned in this picture here. Not all of them, not all of them, but the, this one in particular, this picture. <laughs> Brian looks like Eddie Murphy. No? You guys don't think? Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Well, I, I, I think he does. I think he does. Defeating the likes of Keon Pearson, 
That's incredible. But you know what? I'm not that surprised. I've done many comparisons with Brian B. And he, he has a lot of good shots. And unless you are dominating him in the wheel department, which Keon, you know, he's no Tom Platts. Cavs either. So unless you are resemble that remark, then you're probably going to lose against uh, Brian Buchanan. He was awesome. Maybe overlooked back in the day. But I mean, you had a slew of underrated bodybuilders. Hit thumbs up on the video. That is your fan requested. Your you, you pick. Beep, beep, beep. Tuesday lineup. That's it. Fan requested Friday will be coming soon. To a theater near you. When I was a kid, I thought when they said theater near you, I thought it was called the theater new. Let's go to the theater new and watch a movie. I wanted to go to the theater new. Have a great one, guys.